it's an image. Yeah. So to go back to the um, News Goldberg, it's yes. been up for a couple of days now. Yep. Has anybody got all 24 answers correct? Um, not as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I think I would be very impressed if they did, because frankly <laughs> some of them are slightly obscure. And so, I mean, there was a part where a pig is meant to be launched on a catapult into a Jenga tower of euros. <laughs> Um, pig representing, or pigs representing Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece and Spain, hitting the Euros. It's very <laughs> hilarious, biting political, <laughs> Euro political satire. Um, but no, I mean, there, there are some that, are, that you'd like to think are fairly obvious, and some are pretty odd, but I mean, the, the thing about, this is what we hadn't quite realised when we started, that, you know, to create a Rube Goldberg machine is difficult enough, yeah. and then trying to... Boom it. Yeah, and then slowing it down enough so that everyone else can actually see what's going on, appreciate the mechanic. Because most people are watching the mechanic and are kind of impressed enough by that, which is nice. But the fact that you've tried to add another layer on is what makes it a tad more difficult. Technology. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the beauty of it as well, because I know the friends that I've shown it to have said, oh, I've got, well, I've got this many, I've got seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. But they're going back into it again and watching it again and trying to find the other ones. And that's what's good about it. Oh, that's it? good. It is, it's good, yeah, it's definitely having that, yeah. Yeah. Reading pattern. Yeah. yeah. So, if, as long as, yeah, it's sort of, um, if, the good thing is, is that if people couldn't give a crap about trying to find their news stories, at least there's a fun thing yeah. to watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. And if they do, well. you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Double win. Yeah. yeah. When are the answers going up? Uh, yeah, quite soon, I think. <laughs> I think we've, um, we've done one with the answers. I think the, the public is dying to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, bated <Safe>. breath. <laughs> so we're going to have to, we'll have to put it up there. I mean... I want to know. I've watched yeah. it about I five times. I want to know. <laughs> yeah, there's, I think, yeah, we'll put it up soon um, and kind of see if people understand it. I mean, quite the nice thing about putting it up with the answers is that people can kind of watch the whole thing as a kind of contained thing and not have to worry about trying to get everything yeah but yeah. i mean the nice thing about the original is that it's difficult what's what's the only difficult thing is trying to work out literally on the video where to put the answers without muddying the yeah so that, yeah so that people mm. can see what's going on um just talk us through that take then because as you said before it's right, yeah. possibly the only video online where it is actually done in a single take is that right well, I mean, there'll be There's others. There's lots of Rube Goldbergs online. Yeah, and I think oh, the people okay. who are Rube Goldberg fanatics. Yeah, so I think this, but I mean, of the big, of the big ones. <laughs> and you've watched them all. Yeah, <laughs> I know Honda had to stitch together two takes. That was partly because they couldn't find a warehouse big enough. There is a man online who has pointed out some hidden cuts in the OK Go video. I don't know whether. Anyway, let's not <laughs> go into it. We're not going to end. Um, so that take, it was. Well, it was about 2.30 in the morning. Um, 3.15? Well, no, oh. I'm, I'm setting the scene, oh, Phil. Okay. Setting the scene. <laughs> it was, yeah. was 2.30 in the morning, and part of the machine, there's a, uh, a golf return putter thing. It's a kind of a little um, electronic machine where you putt a ball and it spits it back out. Um, and that formed part of our Rube Goldberg machine, except the batteries were dying. So... It couldn't get the ball. It could no longer get the ball up. up <laughs> Phil is the shaking ramp. his head. Yeah. Whoa, it's, in despair. Yeah. <laughs> so about two thirty in the morning, when my dad, who was in the start of the video, was quite keen to go home, but really wanted to see the thing through, had to we had to quickly re-engineer this ramp so that it was a bit lower down, so the ball could still get up it. Then we did one take after that, and it fell apart quite quickly. And we're sort of sitting there going, okay, well, is this the moment that Phil drives out to an all-night petrol station to buy more batteries for the putter machine? Is this the point my dad goes home? And it was all just a slightly depressing moment. And then my dad sort of said, come on, boys, one more take, one more take, and then I'll go home. And um, so we did it, and, and that was the take. It was 3.07 in the morning, and it was the last take before my dad was going to go home. And we got the whole thing. And the final fire <laughs> scene, which in the video we sped up. How much did we speed it up by? About 800%. Yeah. <laughs> it was three agonising minutes. I mean, every yeah. time we've done that before, the fire thing goes up in about... That whole part takes about 30 seconds max. Yeah, max. Um, 
mainly because we've absolutely plied it with lighter fluid. Yeah. Um, whereas this, it was three agonising minutes as we watched it slowly make its way round. It's a long. Yeah, oh, it was. And then, well, and then you'll it see at the end. Brilliant. Oh, it was, it was, well, you see our reaction at the end of the video, which was... Um, elation. Elation. Yeah. Pure, unbridled <laughs> joy. And then we sat down, had a beer, my dad went home. Just chilled out. Yeah, we did two and a half more hours of takes yeah. until Cranley Freight Services, who are the company who own the other half of the Sold. warehouse, <laughs> um, turned up to do their morning shift at 5.30 in the morning and we decided that at that point it was time to go home. <laughs> we didn't really Were they get... surprised to see you or not at I all? I don't think they even really saw They didn't us. even really notice because <laughs> we sort of, by that time we had, we had lots of black curtain up and that kind of thing so I, didn't, I don't know how much they could see us and we were, we were beaten men by that time. We yeah. tried to do a load of takes afterwards but our heart wasn't really in it because my dad wasn't there to be in at the start of the video. Yeah. And mm. We didn't want to stitch the beginning together was yeah, the, we'd there was of, no real way of yeah. doing it it had all been worked out it wasn't really likely that we were going to get another full take and we didn't and the whole thing about it was that we wanted to do one single continuous yeah. take yeah um, yeah <laughs> how many had you done before that? oh my um, 38 Ooh. oh gosh 35. yeah I mean at least we I don't I can't count how many times I reset those dominoes yeah Oh, how long did it take you then to reset each time? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much we should <laughs> reveal. It, <laughs> did it get? Did you get it down to kind of quite a fine? Yeah, well, we did. if we're if we're we brutally did. honest, the dominoes are all on a piece of duct tape, so they fall one way, which means you can flick them back up quite easily, but it still takes a good ten minutes with a little poking stick <laughs> um, to sort of get them all back up, but. Setting up dominoes is one of those, because a Rube Goldberg machine is meant to work all the way round without you interfering with it, the trouble is if you set some bit off at the start, you're then running and chasing this yeah. Rube Goldberg <laughs> machine down to try and stop the next part being set off. <laughs> so the amount of times I've watched someone accidentally knock a domino, then sort of scrabble to try and only to knock all of them down. And they were being painted on top as well. Yeah, and we had to spray paint. If you were to kosher wipes, mm. yeah. you would have got nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we, if we, I mean, it was about 500 odd dominoes, and if we were going to reset all of them without the duct tape um, method, then that would have taken us, we would have got about two takes done. Yeah. In the whole, yeah. I don't even want to, I think. Yeah, that's not even what I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah. I still, I still think it's valid enough anyway. Yeah, it, it still I mean, works. It works, yeah. And it's, it's not like, you know, you could have an invisible domino. Yeah. That's a good tip, I think. Yeah, I think it's when you yeah, exactly. Note to all the uh, <laughs> Rube Goldberg <laughs> enthusiasts. <laughs> so now it's done, do you feel kind of like you've left it behind now or are you thinking about the next one, bigger and better, well, next we've year's had, new stories? Yeah, we've had some thoughts about what we could do with the next one. I think um, watch this space as they say, we might, we might do something else. I think we need a little break from cold, cold oh, aircraft yeah. hangers for a while. Something in the heat. Yeah. Tenerife. I, mean, I, I usually spend my days doing a bit of, sort of writing comedy and that kind of thing. I think I'll go back to sitting in a cafe with a laptop rather than <laughs> yeah. swearing at a workbench or a drill that doesn't work. One drill between three people. Yeah. That's a way to But I, I genuinely had a hell of a lot of fun making it because it was so different to what I usually do and uh, I would advise anyone if you think of doing it give it a try because it's a lot of fun mm. but you have to it teaches you patience <laughs> it's a good father son father son bonding <laughs> experience yes as you well. had two dads with you three dads, three dads in all three in the dads. sense that two dads were there and we were staying with Phil's parents yeah. who were very uh, very understanding yeah. and accommodating yeah this is why dads really come into their own isn't yeah. it yeah yeah Major engineering. And and, uh, yeah, props, props, to, props to, to Helen Osborne as well. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, my dad was just in church, so he didn't really help out with... Your dad's a priest? Yeah, he's a priest. He was praying for you? Well, he was praying for us, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But he, uh, yeah, he didn't really... He came down and had a look, but... Mm. 
But I mean, they helped out in the sense of. Uh, oh yeah, providing us. Providing us with a, a place five minutes away from the aircraft hangar, which yeah, was, was great. Extremely welcome. It was like a little holiday from London. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Warmth and sustenance. We well, yeah, yeah. kind of. We spent a lot of time. <laughs> spent a lot of time at the Godalming Waitrose. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> you can buy a lot of good reduced items there. You weren't slumming yeah. it then. No, certainly not. We had, I mean, muscles. we had muscles, <laughs> but all for reduced like reduced muscles. That yeah. sounds yeah, dangerous. Sounds dangerous. Yeah. We were willing to take the shot. That Const- wasn't on the risk assessment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> constitution of an ox. Yeah. We had um, one night. We had. Scallops that were reduced to 49p. Oh, that also uh, sounds dangerous. What could have been? We live to yeah. tell the tale. Scallops and chili sauce. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah, it was really good, good. Good meal and excellent. You know, that's we budgeted hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much for coming in today. That's it's an absolute right. pleasure. It's a brilliant, brilliant video, and uh, we hope everybody goes and watches it about 14 times Indeed. to yeah. find out before the answers come out. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much.